Hello viewers. So in the last video, we completed coding our quantum buttons, the RX, RY, and RZ. And now we can move on to the next button. So in this video, we will be uh, seeing uh, the clear button. Uh, we'll uh, link it to the function that it needs to perform uh, which you can see here def clear and we will also recap a little uh, on the rx ry and rz because i i know it was a little complicated so i will be doing these two things in this video okay so let me just comment this okay so there we go and so what does this clear button actually do? Very obviously it clears the display, right? It reinitializes the quantum circuit for fresh calculation. So because when we use clear button, we already had applied a lot of calculations, right? And we just don't want to clear the screen. We also want our button to uh, take the initial state to zero cat, right? So that we can apply a new fresh uh, fresh state of operations on it and the third important thing that clear button does that it checks if the gate buttons are disabled because remember if uh, we applied uh, 10 operations uh, maybe 10, we press 10 buttons uh, then uh, the all the buttons were disabled right so you cannot just keep it that way if we clear uh, it should or oh, again I, even that should be again go back to the initial state right so i don't need to close the program and run it once again so to uh, so to for that thing we also use clear button so that we can again use the gate buttons right now let me walk you through this uh, display dot delete display denotes our screen this one so it just deletes and this shows the end, uh, the way of deleting from where to where, right? So this will simply clear the display that you have on your screen or those are X, Y, Z, whatever you have applied on your screen, right? Then we just reset the circuit. So what do we do? We call the function initialize circuit and uh, it will be somewhere here, here, there we go. So we re reinitialize the circuit. So now the circuit is back to the initial state of zero cat, right? Now we come to the interesting part. Now, if uh, the, we will just check for the state. If a state, just remember that if any of the button is disabled, it just implies that all the buttons are disabled, right? So if we check for X gate button and for its state, uh, this attribute will return its state. And if it is disabled, it means that the buttons are, all the buttons are disabled and the user has uh, clicked on all the 10 buttons, right? Then what we will do, we will again use this list uh, of all the gate and store it uh, in the in this list right uh, and now what we will do we will traverse through this uh, list using for loop and we will return its state back to normal so we will enable those button uh, it's showing here because i have not imported the keyword no yeah now it's happy and here we go uh, yeah the error is gone so what do we do we we have all these gates all these all these gates in this list uh, uh, which is named list uh, which is named gates we one by one go through all these gates and uh, we will enable them then if and only if this uh gate uh, x gate is disabled and x if x gated uh, if x gate is disabled 
it simply means all the buttons are disabled at that moment so if the buttons are disabled we will uh, enable them all of them right so that's a simple thing uh so that's it uh that's a simple clear uh, button in the next video we will uh, i will just give a small recap of the gates rx ri and rz and i hope to see you in the next one